Want to speak real German from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at GermanPod101.com. Hello, my name is Elisa. Welcome to Top 25 German Adjectives. Let's start. Gut. Good. Heute bin ich gut drauf. Today I am in a good mood. Die guten alten Zeiten. The good old days. Neu, new. So depending on the article, the adjective changes in German as well. Das neue Mädchen in der Klasse. The new girl in class. Der neue Hund meiner Nachbarin. The new dog of my neighbors. Erste, first. Ich war noch nie Fallschirmspringen, also würde ich es sehr gerne ausprobieren und es wäre mein erstes Mal. I've never gone skydiving before, so it would be my first time and that's exciting. Letzte, last. Ich war das letzte Mal am Meer vor circa einem Jahr. The last time I was at the ocean was about one year ago. Lecker, tasty. Ich liebe leckeres Essen. Wer nicht? I love tasty food. Who doesn't? Ich finde scharfes Essen sehr lecker. I think spicy food is very tasty. Krank, ill. Ich war letztens zehn Tage krank. I was ill for 10 days actually. Klein, little. Ich finde kleine Hunde süß. I think little dogs are cute. Laut, loud. Das Stadtleben ist laut. The city life is loud. Die laute Musik. The loud music. Groß, big. Mein Hund ist ziemlich groß. My dog is pretty big. Andere, other. So it, is it is singular and plural. Ich habe lustige Freunde, aber auch andere Freunde. I have funny friends, but also other friends. Wer ist die andere Person? Who is that other person? Yep. Alt, old. Ich mag alte Schätze. I love old treasures. Ich mag alte Omas, die sind sehr süß. I like old grandmas, they're really cute. Kalt, cold. Ich mag es überhaupt nicht, wenn es kalt ist. I don't like it at all when it's cold. Müde, tired. Um, ja, heute bin ich etwas müde. Ich hoffe, ihr seht das nicht. Um, today I'm a little tired. I hope you don't see it. Gut gelaunt, cheerful. Ich bin meistens gut gelaunt oder versuche, alles gut gelaunt zu sehen. I am most of the times cheerful and I try to see everything as cheerful. Verrückt, crazy. Ich glaube, einige Leute denken, ich bin verrückt. I think a lot of people actually think I'm crazy and I love it. Ich finde, die, mit den besten Freunden kannst du immer verrückt sein. I think with your best friends you can always be crazy. Those are the best ones. Lustig, funny, finde mich immer sehr lustig, vielleicht andere nicht, aber ich. I think I'm funny, even though maybe other people don't, but I think so. Einer meiner lieblingslustigen Schauspieler ist Ben Stiller. One of the most funniest actors is Ben Stiller. Schön, pretty, das schöne Mädchen, the pretty girl, or der schöne Sonnenuntergang, the pretty sunset. Schwierig, difficult. Ich fand Mathematik immer sehr schwierig. I always thought math was very difficult. Heiß, hot. Das Essen ist heiß. The food is hot. Or you can say also um, hot as in the weather is hot. Wichtig, important. Ich finde das Wichtigste ist sich selber treu zu bleiben. I think the most important thing is to be true to yourself. Interessant. 
interesting. Ich finde Kunst sehr interessant. I think art is very interesting. Es gibt auch viele interessante Personen. There are a lot of interesting people. Super, great. Das Essen war heute super. The food was great today. Eine super Erfahrung war für mich, als ich tauchen war in Ägypten. Uh, one of the most greatest experience for me was to dive in Egypt. Schlecht, bad. Das schlechte Wetter would be the bad weather. So there's an E again, depending on the article. Das schlechte Essen, the bad food. Langweilig, boring. Mir ist nie langweilig. Ich finde immer etwas. Uh, I am actually never bored. I always find something to do or funny and um, weit, far. Ich liebe es, weit weg zu reisen. I love to travel to far away places. Die Strecke von meinem Haus zur Arbeit ist weit. The way from my house to work is far. Thank you for watching Top 25 German Adjectives. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos with me. What was your favorite adjective? Leave in the comments below. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Yeah, I like move too much. Hello, it's Elisa. Welcome to the top 10 phrases you always want to hear. Let's begin. Das budget is unbegrenzt. The budget is unlimited. This is like a dream for every woman, I think. Das budget is unbegrenzt. The budget is unlimited. Who doesn't want to hear that all the time? I would love to hear that because I love shopping. Du bist ein ausgezeichneter Koch. You are an excellent cook. Du bist ein ausgezeichneter Koch. You are an excellent cook cook or if it's a girl you would say du bist eine ausgezeichnete köchin we want to be equal you know i'm actually not a good cook by the way I'll, i try du siehst toll aus heute you look great today du siehst toll aus heute danke schön you look great today thank you who doesn't love to hear that um especially on a monday morning <laughs> Es wird einen Bonus am Ende des Monats geben. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Es wird einen Bonus am Ende des Monats geben. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. What would you do if you've got a bonus at the end of this month? I actually wouldn't know. Maybe I'll go shopping, but, but then maybe I'll go on a vacation or something. That would be nice vacation. I would go to um, like Fiji, to the Fiji Islands and just be at the beach and in nature. I think that's what I would love to do. Gute Arbeit, you did a great job. Gute Arbeit, you did a great job. I'm sure you've been all doing a great job in learning German with me. And um, I hope you still keep learning with us. So if, um, yeah, gute Arbeit, danke schön. You did a great job, thank you. Ich habe dir etwas Besonderes mitgebracht. I brought you something special today. Ich habe dir etwas Besonderes mitgebracht. I brought you something special. Now that's a nice one as well. Who doesn't like presents? I think. What is special to me is more of a, well, something that's thoughtful, you know, or a memory, or it's not about how big it, something is or how, how expensive. I think it's something that, um, you know, if people bring you something special, it, it's usually something that they thought of or maybe they made themselves. I love those kind of things. What is something special you've got as a present? Leave me in the comments and tell me. Ich vermisse dich. I miss you. Ich vermisse dich. I miss you. Who is somebody you miss or what? Maybe a dog too. To all the dog lovers out there, leave in the comments. What kind of dog do you have? Mach eine Pause. Ich werde heute putzen. 
Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Mach eine Pause. Ich werde heute putzen. Take a break. I'll do the cleaning today. Oh, that is a really good one. That's actually a very special present. I think that's something you should do for the whole day. Just, um, you know, be there and just clean the house for once. Sie hatten recht. You were right. Sie hatten recht. You were right. Yes, I love to hear that too. I actually think I'm always right, so... Um... <laughs> oh my God. Und sie gewinnen. And you win. Und sie gewinnen. And you win. Have you won something? Maybe you play a sport or you're in a team and I would be really interested to know what you do and or if you've even won something in, in a lottery or whatever or you did some competition, anything, leave in the comments. What is your favorite compliment or phrase you've ever heard? Or if you want to hear something, leave in the comments and if you can in German. Thank you for watching the 10 phrases you always want to hear and please don't forget to subscribe and see you soon. Bye. Cut. Want to speak real German from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at GermanPod101.com. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Henrik. Welcome to a new episode of GermanPod101.com. You see, it's still not the best weather ever here in Germany, but soon we're getting there. And then I can totally recommend you to come here, travel here. And what do you need for traveling? Exactly. You need 20 phrases you must know for traveling. Here we go. First phrase, when you don't know where to go, you ask, könnte ich eine Karte bekommen? Could I have a map? Actually, you could also ask this to your friend who is going to traveling, because card also works for postcard, so... If you have to stay home and not traveling, you can ask for a Karte, for a card, or you can ask for a map, which we also call Karte, and then you can find your way. Number two, very important sentence. Sprechen Sie Englisch? Do you speak English? Here in Germany, it's quite common people do speak English, even though the older ones not so much but whenever you meet like a young couple or young people on the street and you really cannot find your way or you're really struggling you can always try to even talk to them in english but if you want to be polite you can ask in german sprechen sie english and then the person will know oh okay sure i'm going to try to help you out gibt es einen bus vom flughafen in die stadt is there a bus from the airport to the city often airports are kind of outside of the city right uh, in Germany, or actually in Europe, we have uh, Ryanair, probably you've heard about it, it's like cheap airline, but you, I mean, we all want to save money, so it's good, but often the airports of this Ryanair are actually not in the city, so if you fly Ryanair to Barcelona, you end up, I don't know, 100 kilometers out of Barcelona, and then you always have to take a bus. This also happens in Germany, for example, the Frankfurt airport of Ryanair is about 100 kilometers out of Frankfurt. So you will have to ask for a bus to the city. How do you do this? Gibt es einen Bus vom Flughafen in die Stadt? Number four. Ist das WLAN kostenlos? Is the Wi-Fi free? It's getting more and more there here in Germany. I remember when I was traveling in the US, you could get free Wi-Fi everywhere, even in the streets. Yeah, I'm sorry, we're not that far here now, but um, more and more places, train stations, airports have free Wi-Fi. So, you must be pretty unlucky to not find free Wi-Fi when you're like flying in or coming by train. So yeah, bring your devices and in any case you can ask Sprechen Sie English? Do you speak English to find your way? Number five. Haben Sie freie Zimmer für heute Nacht? Do you have any vacancies for tonight? Yeah, if you're going to a hotel or hostel or I don't know, an apartment and you haven't booked um, previously or ahead, then first of all you need to know if there's any space left for you or if you should go on a search for another place if you don't want to crash on somebody's couch so then go to the hotel go to the reception ask if there are free rooms and usually they should be able to help you out unless i mean you could also just walk through the streets and 
ring a doorbell and ask, haben Sie freie Zimmer? Do you have vacancies? But this might get you in trouble with police, I don't know. <laughs> Number six. Könnte ich in ein anderes Zimmer wechseln? Could I move to a different room? If you're really unhappy with your room and you're like, oh gosh, no, I don't want to stay here, uh, then you ask the receptionist, hey, could I move to another room? Um, it didn't happen to me so far. I was quite lucky whenever, whenever I was traveling, I had pretty nice rooms. But I have heard it happens, it, like if it's 30 or I don't know, the, the, the neighbors of the other room are super loud, doing whatever. Um, then it's legit to ask for a different room. If you want to change your room and you ask in German, they're probably even more willing to help you out. Number seven. Ich habe eine Reservierung. I have a reservation. Yeah, this is what usually is the case, not like previously when you had to ask if there's any room left. <laughs> uh, usually you have a reservation and then everything works kind of itself. You just go to the desk, ask, hey, ich habe eine Reservierung. And then they'll be like, oh, okay, what's your name? And if you watch my other videos, you will know how to say your name in German. And then you can check in your hotel, all in German, all good. And you have a perfect start for your trip. Könnten wir das Menü haben, bitte? Could we have the menu, please? Uh, yeah, going to restaurant, you of course want to know what the food offering is before you just order anything. The waiter comes with the menu and you can open it, search for your entry and for your drink. Beer, I'd recommend, and then, oh, what I'm gonna eat? Um, Schnitzel. Eat Schnitzel. Schnitzel is awesome. Good German food. I love it. Haben Sie Empfehlungen? Do you have any recommendations? Yeah, if you don't want to listen to my recommendation, eating Schnitzel and having a beer, um, you can also ask the, the waiter for recommendations of the house. Often, they even like special offers or uh, menu of the day, something like that. Yeah, just go ahead and ask for recommendations. Often you even like will be surprised of some cool food you, you wouldn't have thought of if you have chosen by yourself. Now we're getting to the sad part of all the restaurant evening. Die Rechnung bitte. Could I have the check please? Yeah, of course, if you eat in a restaurant, in the end there's always a payment. And if you want to ask for the check or for the bill in Germany, that's die Rechnung. So you can just point out your finger to the waiter Die Rechnung bitte, and he will be happy to bring you the bill. You can leave a little tip. We usually tip about like 10% and then everything is fine. <laughs> ich bin allergisch gegen Erdnüsse. I'm allergic to peanuts. Uh, yeah, this happens. If you are, don't eat peanuts. And um, if you're not sure whether there are peanuts in your food or not, it's a good idea to ask or just to um, raise attention to the waiter. Hey. Ich bin allergisch gegen Erdnüsse, so please don't bring me any peanuts. Number 12. Wasser bitte. Water, please. Other than in the US and Germany, it's not common that you get free water at the table um, during your uh, evening in the restaurant. Uh, you always have to order it, unfortunately. So whatever you want to drink, if it's beer, coke, or just like um, water from the sink, you will always have to order it and pay it. So. Um, don't expect the waiter to bring you water for free. If you order water, then it also will appear on the bill. But therefore we used to have sparkling water, which in my opinion is way better than just sink water. Come on, it's so boring. Wie viel kostet das? How much is this? Yeah, if you're really thirsty, you want the water, but are kind of out of money, then you should ask maybe how much it is, and then you can use this phrase, wie viel kostet das? How much is this? Or, yeah, and anything in the souvenir store that's like this stupid little thing you want to bring home but you don't want to spend a fortune on it, then better ask before how much is this, if you cost it us. Oh, see, sun is coming out. Now is the right time to travel here. First learn the sentences, but then travel here. Yeah, you see when the sun is shining like this, you should pack your stuff. Ich möchte 10 von diesen. I'd like 10 of these. Um, I remember when I went to Brazil, um, there's always this fe so-called feira, it's like a fair where they sell food and toys and everything, but then of course the most exciting for me were the fruits, because they had so many exotic fruits, and then I went there and like, oh, I had like 10 of these and 5 of these and 3 of that, and there were fruits I've never seen, so I wanted to try, 
Um, so this might happen to you if you come here that you see fruits or vegetables that are not so common in your country. Then you can really use the sentence. Yeah, you should always try the new stuff. Ich möchte das hier. I'd like this. Coming back if you are at the fair and you really don't know, like there's something you've never seen, but then you want to point at it and say you want this, and you want to impress the one who's selling you, the seller <laughs> speaking German, then you can just say, ich möchte dies, and he will be like, cool, here you got it. Number 16. Könnten Sie mir einen Rabatt geben? Could you give me a discount? Also, this um, happens, we have uh, flea markets where there's people sell their used stuff or even on the on the markets on the Sunday farmers market whatever sometimes you can try to negotiate and it's you can always ask it's not impolite if you feel like oh cool this is a place where it's just common to negotiate a little you can ask for discount even though don't expect too much it's I know in other countries it's common that okay the price is 20 but he's already happy if he gets 10 yeah no here it's more like if the price is 20 you can maybe negotiate it down to 18 or it always depends also, I mean, if you if you ask in German, probably you will waste your chances that you really get a discount because they will um, appreciate your effort to speak German. Don't be pushy on it, but try and negotiate a little and you might get your discount. Nehmen Sie Kreditkarte? Do you take credit card? You should definitely bring your credit card in most supermarkets and um, yeah, stores, whatever. You can use the credit card, but still there's a lot of like smaller shops or the, the flea market, apparently, they usually don't take credit cards, so it's not as widespread as in the US, but we're getting there. We still like our cash <laughs> in, in our hands, see, you see what we're paying with. It's also dangerous to always pay by credit card, you don't really see how much money you spend, especially on holiday, you're more like, oh, cool, I want to enjoy my time, spend some money here, spend some money there, and then credit card in, <laughs> and then just returning home, you get the letter with all all the money you spent on you're like, oh, holy, that was a lot of money. Number 18, wo ist der Bahnhof? Where is the train station? In case you need to go back to the airport, want to take the train and you don't know where the train station are, then you're probably in trouble. So you should check beforehand on your map or, yeah, I don't know, take a cab or something. But maybe you're not light, maybe you have plenty of time and then just want to find the way yourself, you can go and ask, hey, where is the train station? You need to catch a flight. Entschuldigen Sie, wie hoch ist der Fahrpreis? Excuse me, what's the fare? In buses or trains, if you haven't bought your ticket previously ahead, um, then you might want to ask the driver what's the price before we're taking it, to net not <laughs> be surprised later. Yeah, bus tickets in the city usually are like, I'd say, 250. Train tickets apparently depend on how far you want to go. I think a train ticket from Berlin to Munich, for example, 50 euro, I guess. Depends also if you book ahead or not. But yeah, if you if you ask the, the driver or anybody at the train station, you probably haven't booked ahead. It's always smarter to book ahead and you can get way cheaper tickets, especially for trains. In buses, usually you don't really, you're not really able to book a ticket ahead, you just buy it right there. And yeah, the, the driver in the bus always is uh, happy to help you out when you're uncertain about the price. So just ask him. Number 20, selfie time. Könnten Sie ein Foto von mir machen? Could you take a picture of me, please? Yeah, nowadays this question is not asked so often anymore because you always do your selfies, right? You do that? Like, oh, I could actually film all this in selfie, but... I would be too shaky, I guess. Um, but if you want a proper picture, maybe of your group with everybody in it and not just this long selfie arm, um, then uh, you should ask a, a stranger on the street. And I told you previously that most Germans are like know at least a little English, so they would understand if you have a camera and say, "Oh, could you take a picture, please?" That you all want them to take a picture of you. Good sentence to know if you're traveling alone or with your partner or in a group and you want to have a picture. Then just ask, oh, könnten Sie ein Foto von mir machen? Könnten Sie bitte ein Foto von mir machen? Going back home after your travel, you see clouds are coming back, like I'm not in this bright sun anymore. Yeah, time to go home. Yeah, travel is over, let's go back home and then bus to the airport. Have a good flight.
I hope you enjoyed the lesson, it was fun. So if you come to Germany, if you're traveling here now, you really know like some sentences uh, here and there. You can, if your German is not that fluent yet, that you can spread in to, for you to enjoy your trip more, also for the people you meet, the Germans, to make them have a good time seeing your effort speaking German. Um, I believe where whenever I travel to some country I should know at least some sentences, so this is your entry card for the first trip to Germany. Yeah, if you want to learn more, uh, subscribe to the channel germanpop101.com. Uh, I hope to see you next time. Leave some comments. Ciao, ciao. Hello, my name is Elisa and today we're doing the top 25 German nouns. Let's start. Der Name. Name. The plural version is die Namen. Mein Name ist Alisa. My name is Alisa. Mein Spitzname ist Lieschen. My nickname is Lieschen. Die Uhrzeit. Time of day. Wie viel Uhr ist es? Die Uhrzeit ist 11 Uhr. Der Mann. Man. Die Männer. Men. Die typischen deutschen Männer sind groß und blond. The typical German men are tall and blond. Die Frau, woman. Die Frauen, women. Die deutschen Frauen sind starke Frauen. The German women are tough women. <laughs> die Person, person. Die Personen, people. Die Personen in Deutschland sind sehr freundlich. The people in Germany are friendly. Die Sache, thing. Die Sachen, things. So, uh, Sache, die Sache is more used in written German language. Die Sachen in meinem Zimmer sehen chaotisch aus. The things in my room look chaotic. Die Sache is a very formal way of saying things. So, uh, das Ding, die Dinge, is a very casual way of saying thing. Uh, I actually use it a lot for everything. Die Mutter, mother. Die Mütter, mothers. Einige meiner Freundinnen sind schon Mütter. A few of my friends are already mothers. Der Tag, day. Die Tage, days. Mein Tag hat heute sehr früh angefangen. My day started very early today. Regnerische Tage, rainy days. Der Moment, moment. Die Momente, moments. Was war dein schönster Moment? What was your most special moment? Die Momente im Leben. The moments in life. Der Vater. Father. Die Väter. Fathers. Mein Vater ist Deutsch. My father is German. Die Väter in Deutschland lieben es, Bier zu trinken. Fathers in Germany love to drink beer. I'm, I'm sure not only Germany, but... Der Bruder, brother. Die Brüder, brothers. Ich habe einen Bruder. I have one brother. Die Freizeit. Free time or leisure time. In meiner Freizeit unternehme ich gerne etwas draußen. In my free time I like to be outside. Die Tochter, daughter. Die Töchter, daughters. Ich bin eine komplizierte Tochter. I am a complicated daughter, I think, to my mother. Der Sohn, son. Die Söhne, sons. Der nette Sohn von nebenan. The nice son from next door. Das Kind, child. Die Kinder, children. Ich bin immer noch sehr oft Kind. I am still a lot of times a child. 
Die Kinder in Deutschland spielen gerne draußen. The children in Germany like to play outside. Das Wort, word. Die Wörter, words. Du wirst jetzt 25 Wörter lernen. You will learn 25 words. Der Kopf, head. Die Köpfe, heads. Okay, so der rollende Kopf, the rolling head. In uh, German, if you do something bad, it's a way of saying die rollenden Köpfe or your heads will roll. It's the same saying as in German, die, die rollenden Köpfe. Die lustigen Köpfe der Klasse, the funny heads in the classroom. There are always some class clowns. In Germany, we call them the ach, die lustigen Köpfe der Klasse. Der Freund, friend. Die Freunde, friends. In German, could mean my friend or also my boyfriend. Meine Freunde sind super. My friends are awesome. Oh, ist das dein Freund, Freund oder Freund? So, Freund, Freund uh, means is that your boyfriend or is it just a friend? Die Schwester, Sister. Die Schwestern, Sisters. Viele meiner Freundinnen sind wie Schwestern. A lot of my friends are like sisters to me. Die Arbeit, work. Die Arbeiten, work, as in a plural version. Was ist deine Arbeit? What is your work? Die Woche, week. Die Wochen, weeks. Meine Woche hat sehr gut angefangen. My week started very well. Die kommenden Wochen werden heiß. The next weeks are going to be hot. Der Monat, month. Die Monate, months. Mein Geburtstagsmonat ist Januar. My birthday month is January. Was sind deine Lieblingsmonate? What are your favorite months? Das Jahr, year. Die Jahre, years. Welches Jahr ist dein Geburtsjahr? What year is your birth year? Die letzten Jahre vergingen sehr schnell. The last years went by fast. Das Zuhause, home. Ich fühle mich an verschiedenen Orten zu Hause. I feel home in different kind of places. Die Nummer, number. Die Nummern, numbers. Das ist die Nummer 25 dieser Lektion. This is number 25 of this lesson. Thank you for watching the top 25 German nouns. Make sure to subscribe to watch more videos with me. Thank you. Bye. We're getting like really deep here. Hi, Anja here. Welcome to Top Words. Today we'll be talking about 10 phrases to use when you're angry. So the first one will be Es geht dich nichts an. It's none of your business. Es geht dich nichts an. It's none of your business. So many people say it by themselves if, if they don't want to get too intimate about an issue. If they don't want to um, come too close to someone. So, the next one is Halt den Mund. Shut up. So, I mean, it's not very nice to say to someone Halt den Mund. Lass mich in Ruhe. Leave me alone. Lass mich in Ruhe means leave me alone. So, this one you say if you just want to be alone by yourself, if you don't want to be bothered by anybody. But also, if you're angry, and maybe had a fight with someone, and then you just don't want to continue the fight anymore, you just don't want to get attacked or offended anymore, and you say, okay, just leave me alone, I'll go into my room, and please don't disturb or bother me. <laughs> Willst du mich veräppeln? Are you kidding me? Willst du mich veräppeln? 
Are you kidding me? So actually, you don't really say veräppeln. <laughs> That's not a very common way to say. Maybe they said it like that many years ago. <laughs> or um, older people might still say veräppeln. Was auch immer. Whatever. Was auch immer. Whatever. So this also depends on the context. You could say that during a fight, if you want to stop arguing with someone, you say, okay, just whatever, was auch immer. Or you could say it if you are explaining something and, but I don't know, you don't really, you, you can't find the words or something and you can also say, okay, it was this and, this and that, was auch immer. Doesn't really matter. If it's not that important, then you can use that too. Hör auf damit. Cut it out. Hör auf damit. Cut it out. Okay, this phrase can be used in many contexts. For example, parents might say that to their children if they're doing something wrong or, <laughs> yeah, if they don't behave well, they just say, Hör auf damit. Don't do that. Just cut it out. Stop that. Ich will nicht mit dir reden. I don't want to talk to you. Ich will nicht mit dir reden. I don't want to talk to you. So I would say in most cases you say that after a fight, you say, ich will nicht mit dir reden or ich will nicht mehr mit dir reden. I don't want to talk to you anymore because you had enough. It's actually, I would say it's pretty hurtful if someone says that to you. <laughs> it can be a long time after you had an argument with someone and maybe someone comes up to you and wants to apologize or just wants to talk to you and say, ich will nicht mit dir reden. Ich will gerade nicht mit dir reden. I just don't want to talk to you right now. Ich bin verärgert. I'm upset. Ich bin verärgert. I'm upset. So I would say you don't say that very often. If there was a situation before that made you angry, you could just talk to a person and say, I'm so upset. Ich bin so verärgert. Na und? So what? Na und? So what? So na und is not very, doesn't sound very angry. It can be used in a very normal context, in a natural way. Maybe a person tells you a story and she's so mad about something and you say na und? It's not that terrible. What are you, what are you so mad about? Like, yeah, so what? So what's the matter? There's no issue <laughs> like that. So it's basically like, so what? No big deal. <laughs> Was glaubst du, wer du bist? Who do you think you are? Was glaubst du, wer du bist? Who do you think you are? So this sentence you could use if a person acts very arrogant, keeps telling you instructions or makes, uh, wants to make you obey or <laughs> something. Then you could say, Was glaubst du, wer du bist? Like, who do you think you are? Yeah, don't, don't, don't treat me like this. I don't deserve it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I haven't heard many people saying this. I don't know if you use that very often, but I think it's a funny way if, <laughs> if you really, um, yeah, if you are in that kind of situation and you say, who do you think you are? Was glaubst du, wer eigentlich wer du bist? I think that's really funny to say. <laughs> It would be funny from the outside to see that kind of situation. <laughs> not, probably not if you're within the situation. All right, so these were the 10 phrases you use when you're angry. What makes you angry? Let us know in the comments. Also, subscribe the channel if you liked it. So if you want to see more videos like this, just check us out at germanpod101.com. My name is Anja, and I'll see you in the next video. Tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal. Want to speak real German from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at GermanPod101.com. Hi, my name is Elisa. Welcome to the top 25 German phrases. Let's get started. Hallo. Hello. Hallo. Hello. It's usually used between friends and usually you add Hallo, wie geht's? It's hello, how are you? Guten Morgen. Good morning. Guten Morgen, good morning, and obviously it's used in the morning. Very casual would be just morning, morgen, guten Tag, 
good afternoon. Guten Tag means good afternoon or good day. You don't usually say it to friends. Guten Tag. <laughs> Na klar? Of course. Na klar means of course. I actually use it a lot. It's very casual. Uh, kannst du mein Auto heute waschen? Na klar. Um, that would be really actually really good. But uh, it means can you wash my car today? Of course. Who wouldn't want that, right? Wie heißen Sie? What's your name? Wie heißen Sie means what's your name? Wie heißen Sie is a very formal way um, to say it. Between friends, it would be more wie heißt du? Wie heißen Sie? Ich heiße Alisa. What's your name? My name is Alisa. Ich bin? I am. Ich bin heute gut drauf. Uh, I am in a really good mood today. Ich bin im Urlaub. I am on vacation. Wie geht es Ihnen? How are you? Wie geht es Ihnen? And then, mir geht es gut. How are you? I am good. Es freut mich, Sie kennenzulernen. Nice to meet you. Hallo, wie geht's? Es freut mich, Sie kennenzulernen. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you is a very common sentence. Mir geht es gut, danke. Und Ihnen? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Mir geht es gut, danke. Und Ihnen? I'm fine, thanks. And you? It's the answer to uh, if you get asked, wie geht es Ihnen? So when you're talking to friends, you can actually say, mir geht es gut, danke. Und dir? Bitte. Please. Bitte also means you're welcome. Danke, dass du heute einkaufen warst. Ach, uh, bitte. Thank you uh, for going grocery shopping today. You're welcome. Bis später. See you later. Bis später. See you later. Uh, bis gleich means when um, you're actually meeting in maybe five to ten minutes. And bis später is used mostly, for example, in the morning and you're going to meet uh, during the evening. Hallo, sollen wir heute essen gehen? Ja, gerne. Ja, dann bis später. Uh, hello, should we go have um, something to eat today? Yes, sure. See you later. Ich glaube schon. I think so. Ich glaube schon. I think so. Meinst du, wir können heute was trinken gehen? Ich glaube schon. Um, yeah, do you think we can go have drinks tonight? I think so. Ich glaube schon is kind of like an uncertain thing to say. Danke. Thank you. Danke. Thank you. Danke is a very casual between friends and the family. Wie geht es dir heute? Danke, sehr gut. How are you today? Thank you. I am fine. Gern geschehen. You're welcome. Ja, danke, dass du mir beim Umzug geholfen hast. Gern geschehen. Thank you for helping me move. You're welcome. Ja, yes. Ja means yes. And, of course, it's a very, very common word in German. You use it all the time when you're listening to someone. Ja. Gehst du heute, uh, kannst du heute bitte mit dem Hund spazieren gehen? Ja. Can you take the dog for a walk today? Yes. Nein. No. Nein. No. Hast du am Samstag Zeit? Uh, nein, leider nicht. Um, are you free on Saturday? No, sorry, I'm not. Just saying nein is a little bit rude, so people just add no, I'm not free. Okay, okay. It's more used with uh, friends and family and not at work. Place. When I was a child, I wasn't allowed to say, okay, for example, I, yeah, I have to say yes or no. Ja, nein. 
And of course, okay is also used, uh, for example, wie geht es dir? Or mir geht's okay. And how are you? I'm okay. Kannst du mir vielleicht eine Kamera heute ausleihen? Okay. Could you lend me your camera today? Okay. Entschuldigung. Excuse me. Entschuldigung. Excuse me. Entschuldigung, Sie haben gerade Ihre Schlüssel verloren. Uh, excuse me, you just dropped your keys. So yeah, excuse me and uh, I'm sorry means both. Entschuldigung. It's a very formal way to ask somebody for a favor. Kein Problem. No problem. Kein Problem. No problem. It's a very common sentence. I use it all the time. Kein Problem. Kein Problem. Kein Problem. <laughs> If somebody's gonna be late or, um, yeah, ich komme erst in 10 Minuten. KP <laughs> means no problem. Wie viel Uhr ist es? What time is it? <laughs> yes, obviously, when you want to know the time, uh, you ask this and it's used at work. It's neither formal or casual. You can use it with friends. You're in the city and you forgot your watch. Entschuldigen Sie, wie viel Uhr ist es? Excuse me, what time is it? It's a very common phrase and used everywhere. Einen Moment bitte. One moment, please. You bought something and you want to return it. Entschuldigen Sie, ich würde gerne äh, etwas zurückschicken. Einen Moment bitte. Excuse me, I would like to return something. One moment, please. Ich hätte gerne. I would like. Ich hätte gerne einen Salat mit Pommes. I would like a salad with fries. Wait. <laughs> I would like a water. <laughs> Wie viel macht das? How much is it? Ich hätte gerne ein Kleid für eine Hochzeit. Wie viel macht das? Uh, I would like a dress for a wedding. How much is it? Zahlen bitte. The check please. Zahlen bitte, the check please, when you're ordering something and uh, you're finished and uh, you want um, to pay, you usually say to the waiter or waitress, uh, Zahlen bitte. <laughs> Hilfe, help. Hilfe! <laughs> Help. Hilfe, like help, is when you're in need of something or you can't do it by yourself. You scream or you say, Hilfe! Ja, ich bräuchte uh, Hilfe heute Abend. I need help tonight. Thank you for watching. Today we did the top 25 German phrases. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> We're done? Cut. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Henrik. Welcome to a new episode of GermanPod101.com. Today uh, we're going through 10 phrases for surviving back to school. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson for the good old days, right? Let's go. To start off with, Rucksack, backpack. Er trug seine Bücher, Stifte und Papiere im Rucksack. He carried his books, pencils and papers in the backpack. Yeah. See, I have still my backpack from my time at school. I used to have it since fifth grade, I think. To be really cool, I put it this Rolling Stones tongue here. Yeah, you can see it already survived many years. Kind of broken by now. But it did a good job. Rolling Stones. Klassenkamerad. Classmate. Sarah war meine Klassenkameradin in der Schule. Sarah was my classmate at school. I think that classmates are the most important in all the school time, because I mean, of course, all the stuff you learn, but you will never get that much time with all your friends and your classmates, like later on when you work. It's difficult to keep in touch, so if you're still in school or at college, appreciate having all your friends around you all the time. Unfortunately, this will not last forever. Hausaufgaben. Homework. Ich mache jeden Tag nach der Schule Hausaufgaben. I do homework every day after school. Yeah, right. 
I wouldn't do them before class. Of course, most of the homework is to be done at home, but I think all of you know that from time to time, little things are just done right in time before class. Prüfung. Exam. Ich muss für meine Prüfung lernen. I must study for my exam. Yeah, this is probably one of the parts people don't miss so much about time at school or in college. The exam period. It's very stressful always. Study a lot, but... Come on, most people survived. Next one. Notizheft. Notebook. Ich habe für jeden Kurs ein eigenes Notizheft. I have a separate notebook for each class. Looking here in my school bag, yeah, there is like a notebook. And uh, let's see. It's even brand new, so always prepared for a new class, right? What's that? Looks like some boring math stuff here. And says history. So yeah, I didn't really have a separate notebook for each class. There's everything mixed up in here, but I don't know if this is art or... Yeah, it's better you have a separate notebook for each class. It gets confusing if you mix everything in one. Okay, but let's move on. Um, Schule. School. Ich gehe jeden Werktag zur Schule. I go to school every weekday. Um, yeah, that's what I did from Monday to Friday, every week, weekday or workday I went to school. I've heard when my parents were young they even had to go to school on Saturday. That must have been awful times, so enjoy your living in the here and now. Next one, studieren, to study. Ich studiere Betriebswirtschaft. I study business management. Yeah, very cliche. Whenever you don't know what to study, study business management like... <laughs> I, even I like I studied business engineering a little bit different, but still I, I wasn't sure what should I choose so Business always works Well, if you're more of a creative type you should probably choose something else. It's a lot about numbers really next one Es ist der erste Schultag. It's the first day of class Yeah, some people love it. Most people hate it like right now. It's summer break here. My little sister She's 14 still going to school being on holiday. Of course. She's already super sad thinking of um, The first day of classes other people are just like very happy to see all their classmates again as I said earlier That's the coolest thing you can see all your classmates again So don't be too sad when it's first day of class. Of course holiday is nice, but it's also cool to be around your friends all the time Wir sind in derselben Klasse We're in the same class. That's like, you can imagine this, right? You're going to school, like there are new classes, you want to know, oh, am I with my best friend in class? You look at the board and then, oh, it's me here, and then my best friend right next to me, same class. Woo, woo, we're in the same class! Um, yeah, that's how I imagine the school kids to be happy about being in the same class with their friends. Yay! Same class! Yay! Was ist dein Hauptfach? What's your major? Yeah, going to college, probably this is the most asked question. It's first, what's your name, and then what's your major? I think some people even would ask what's your major before asking what's your name, so... Be prepared to know the sentence, to know the answer for the sentence. Um, you will be asked this very often. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the lesson today. It was fun remembering back all those things back at school. If you have anything to say, leave a comment, to tell me what to improve, tell me about your experiences back to school or what other sentences you want to know, you want to learn. Uh, subscribe to the channel GemmanPop101.com and then I see you next time. Ciao, ciao. Hi, this is Elisa. Welcome to Top 25 German Verbs. Let's get started. <laughs> Sein. Be means to be. A little complicated because ich bin a version of sein, but because it's ich bin, it's uh, it changes. So it's kind of like to be, but then in English it would be the same. I am Elisa. Ich bin Alisa. Ich bin ab morgen im Urlaub. I am gonna be on vacation tomorrow. Hawaii. I wish. Haben, have. Ich habe mir heute sehr viel vorgenommen. I have planned a lot for today. Tun, do. Tun means to do. Tun is used in a very casual way. Tust du mir den Gefallen und ähm, machst heute die Küche sauber? 
uh, can you do me the favor and clean the kitchen? Sagen, to say. Ich sage sehr oft okay. I say okay a lot. Meine Kollegen sagen, dass ich sehr gut arbeite. My colleagues say that I work very good. Bekommen. Get. Ich habe heute mein Gehalt bekommen. I got my paycheck today. <lacht> Machen. Make. For example, meine Mutter macht heute einen Kuchen. My mother is um, making a cake. And if you've never tried German cake, it's really good. And then I'm going to put it in the oven. Ding! Now it's done. <laughs> And then it's going to go whipped cream. <laughs> Gehen, go. Gehen literally means to go or walk. And ich gehe gerne mit meinem Hund spazieren. I like to go on walks with my dog. Gehst du heute zum Volleyball? Are you going to volleyball today? Wissen, to know. Oh, ho, ho. Wer weiß was? The three W's. Who knows? Oh, okay. In English it's not the W, but in German. Who knows what? B, B, B. Oh, and it's like W, W, W. B. For example, wie, weißt du, wie viel Uhr es ist? Um, ja, ich weiß es. Uh, do you know what time is it? Yes, I know. Nehmen. Take. Ich nehme einen Regenschirm mit. I take the umbrella with me. Ich nehme an, du hast heute viel zu tun. In this case, ich nehme an means I assume um, you have a lot to do today. So it means something totally different because of the whole sentence. But that's really the... The magic. <laughs> Sehen. To see. Literally, to see with your eyes. Ich sehe mir heute einen Film an. I am gonna see a movie today. So in this case, it means to see a movie. Ich sehe, dass es dir heute viel besser geht. I see that you're doing much better today. Kommen. Come. Heute Abend kommt meine Freundin zu Besuch. Tonight my friend is coming to visit. Ich komme gleich is uh, actually a very casual thing to say. It means, oh, I'm gonna um, be there in a second or I'm coming now or um, you can write it as a message or uh, when you're on your way to some somewhere. Denken, think. Ich denke, dass dieses Video sehr hilfreich ist. I think this video is very helpful. <laughs> Gucken. Look. Gucken means to look and uh, it's kind of be used between uh, friends and more young people and it's not very formal, it's more casual. Ich gucke mir gerne den Himmel an. I like to look at the sky. Möchten. Want. Ich möchte im Sommer an den Strand. I want to go to the beach in summer. Die Blumen möchten Wasser und brauchen Sonne. The flowers want water and need sunlight. Geben, give. Meine Freundin gibt mir heute ihre CDs. My friend is giving me CDs today. Ach, ich gebe jetzt auf. Um, ah, I'm gonna give up. Können, be able to. Means be able to or can. Ich kann mehrere Sprachen sprechen. I am able to speak different languages. It really means that you're capable of or you can do something. Ich kann Kleidung designen. I am able to design clothes. Finden, find. Ich finde means 
when you're expressing your feelings or when you're expressing something you want to say to someone or Finland needs to really find something. So as you guys probably know, but um, Easter is really big in Germany and um, uh, die Kinder finden Ostereier im Garten. The kids find Easter eggs in the garden. Erzählen, tell. Immer wenn ich aus dem Urlaub äh, zurückkomme, erzähle ich die aufregendsten Geschichten. Um, when I come back from vacation, I always tell the most uh, amazing stories. Als Kind hat meine Mutter mir Märchen erzählt. As a kid, my mom used to tell me fairy tales. The most famous uh, fairy tales Märchen are from the Grimm brothers and they're actually German. And I really used to love, uh, wait, Rotkäppchen, it's Red Riding Hood. Fragen, ask. When you're asking your teacher, for example, um, Hallo, Herr uh, Müller, ich habe eine Frage. Hello, Mr. Müller, I have a question, or can I ask a question? Arbeiten, work. Gerade arbeite ich an einem Video für euch. Um, right now I am working on a video for you guys. Die Bauarbeiter arbeiten an der Straße. The construction workers are working on the street. Scheinen, seem. Scheinen has actually two different meanings. Uh, so one is seem, but one is actually to shine. You're in a good mood. Uh, yeah, wenn ich gut drauf bin, dann scheine ich von innen. Uh, when I'm in a good mood, um, I shine from the inside. Seem. Um, es scheint mir so, als wäre Katrin gut drauf. It seems like Ka Katrin is in a good mood. Fühlen, feel. Ich fühle mich heute sehr gut. I, today I feel really Good. If you're buying a carpet and you say, um, yeah, ich uh, fühle den Teppich und er fühlt sich sehr weich an. I feel the carpet and it feels really soft. And also, ich fühle die Musik. I feel the music. Um, yeah, lately I actually have been listening to a lot of music and um, so I've been in a good mood. I think music makes you feel really good. Versuchen. Try. This one is interesting because in versuchen, there's also the verb suchen, which means to search. Ich versuche jedes Jahr etwas Neues zu lernen. Um, I try to learn something new every year, either if it's an instrument or um, reading something new and something that I've never read before. I think it's important to challenge um, yourself. Essen, eat. Yeah. Gleich gehe ich zum Mittagessen. Soon I'm gonna go eat lunch. So eat is really, ich, uh, really eating. Glauben, believe. Ich glaube, Karl hat heute uh, eine gute Arbeit geleistet. Uh, I believe that Karl did a good job today. Thank you for watching the top. 25 German verbs. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you soon. Bye. I love that. Wissen. I want to be a cute one. Yeah. Cut, cut. Want to speak real German from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at GermanPod101.com. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to a new episode of GermanPod101.com. I'm Henrik and today I'm going to teach you must-know autumn vocabulary. That's something really cool I love here in Germany and most of Central Europe that we really have the four different seasons. That means there is a distinct winter, summer, autumn and uh, spring. Each time is different and each time has its benefits as well as of course some, yeah, let's say weaknesses which are not as cool. But um, it's cool in each uh, season you can just wait for the next one to come if you don't like one so much. I think that's something pretty cool. Right now you see I'm still in my t-shirt, it's not too cold. We're still in summer, but we always know after summer it follows the fall, autumn follows. So be prepared and let's get started. Pullover, sweater. Pullover, sweater.
Meine Oma schenkt mir immer selbst gestrickte Pullover zu Weihnachten. My grandma always gives me hand-knit sweaters for Christmas. Yeah, you know, they're sometimes a bit itchy. She doesn't give them to me anymore. I don't know if I'm too old or she's too old. <laughs> But I do sometimes receive socks. Hand-knit socks. They're cool. They're warm. And yeah, on a cold fall day, on a cold autumn day, it's nice to have some warm clothes. And even if it's self-made by your grandma, hey, come on, that's special, right? Never forget to say thank you for the presents your grandma give you. Yeah, never, never forget that I've, I've done that. Regnerisch. Rainy. Regnerisch. Rainy. Es ist regnerisch. It is rainy. Not really right now, but true in fall it can often get rainy. I really like it. Um, the super cozy days, just sitting inside, maybe there's a little bit fire in the, um, in the oven or something. And then outside it's raining, it's cold, it's really uncomfortable outside. Makes it even more comfortable inside. See, some people hate it, this rainy season. I really like it. I'm, I'm a big fan of fall. So, I'm a big fan of this lesson. Windig. Windy. Windig. Windy. Heute ist kein guter Tag zum Fahrradfahren. Es ist zu windig. Today is not a good day for riding a bicycle. It is too windy. True, it can get a little bit windy in uh, fall. But don't worry, you will not get blown away. It's not crazy wind like tornadoes stuff they, they have in the US. When I was in the US, there actually was a tornado, so we had to all together gather in a, in a gym to be protected. That was kind of exciting, also a bit scary, of course. Yeah, we don't have that here. It's, it gets windy, but um, nothing close to, to be afraid of. Kühl. Cool. Kühl. Cool. Es ist heiß am Tag, aber kühl in der Nacht. It's hot during the day, but cool at night. I think cool was the first. English word I've learned ever. It's just like something is cool, like, wow, Henrik, your shirt is cool. Actually, no, this one is kind of old. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the other way around, it doesn't work. You couldn't say cool, like the German word for cool, for wow, something is very good. It's just chilly, really. Herbst, autumn or fall. Herbst, autumn or fall. Es ist schon Herbst, aber zur Zeit ist es immer noch warm. It's already fall, but it's still warm these days. Yeah, also this is kind of typical, like when fall comes, there will be more cool days and more rainy days, but there are still um, warm days. So it's kind of a little bit similar to the spring, it like goes up and down, whereas like summer is really more warm, winter apparently is more cold. Um, But also this is what I like really about fall, it's like you never know what you get the next day. Um, on a bad day, the next day can be pretty beautiful, and on a very beautiful day, the next day can be, yeah, crappy, rainy. It's really, yeah, some people don't like it so much. I think it's pretty interesting, like with all the leaves change, and you really know, oh cool, winter is coming, the Christmas time is coming, and that makes me really like fall. Erkältung. Cold. Erkältung. Cold. Bist du nicht krank? Ach was, es ist nur eine Erkältung. Aren't you sick? Nah, it's just a cold. <coughs> I've got a cold. <clears throat> yeah, I was simulating. Like people sometimes simulate to not go to work. Or to not go to school. With a cold, honestly. I don't have that much experience. I think it's my Viking genes that make me um, be pretty much unsick most of the time. When you have a cold, the best thing to do is having a hot tea, put some honey in it, like peppermint tea for instance, and sitting in the warm, drinking it. That's what my mom always gave me when I was having a cold as a, as a kid. I had hot tea with honey. Delicious. Kalt. Cold. Kalt. Cold. Ich mag es überhaupt nicht, wenn es kalt ist. I don't like it at all when it's cold. Not necessarily true. I'm rather uh, not such a big fan of crazy heat. I feel like, wah, I'm burning. Um, when it's getting a bit colder, I find it cozy, I like it. Yeah, but fall is not the really cold months, that's winter here. Langärmliges Hemd. Long sleeved shirt. Next one. Langärmliges Hemd. Long sleeved shirt. Langärmlige Hemden sind gut bei kaltem Wetter. 
Long sleeve shirts are good for cold weather. Oof, difficult one. Yeah, it's a really long, difficult one. Langärmliches Hemd. Anyways, uh, we have a, we have a saying here in Germany. It's like um, the temperature cannot be too cold. You can only have wrong clothes. So when it's getting colder, just put on more clothes and you'll be fine. So that's what we say for the complainers about cold weather, because it can get pretty cold here. Fallendes Laub, falling leaves. Fallendes Laub, falling leaves. Im Herbst kann man überall fallendes Laub bestaunen. In autumn you can observe falling leaves everywhere. This is also one thing I love about the autumn or about the fall, that the, the leaves turn, they change all the colors, it gets super beautiful everywhere, and then they keep falling. Yeah, the pretty part is when they're still up, not falling, um, because afterwards it's, trees look a little bit kind of sad without all the leaves. But uh, that's where spring comes in and after winter the leaves return. Blood. Leaf. Next one is blood. Leaf. Die Blätter werden im September braun. The leaves turn more brown in September. Yeah, not only brown, but also yellow and red and green and... Yeah, probably all the colors, but blue. I have never seen a blue a leaf turning blue in September. Um, but that thing, like people always talk about, yeah, Indian fall in, in the US and New England, but it's pretty similar here, like autumn gets really beautiful, like all the forests they are red and yellow and green and brown, like in, in all those different colors, it's, it's just astonishing, I love it. If you have seen Indian summer in the, in the US, where everybody talks about, it's, it's pretty similar here, so you, if, you, if you like this, you should come here also, like with huge forests. Everything turns colorful. Amazing. Um, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I hope to see you again. Subscribe to the channel GermanPop101.com. Leave some comments. I'd be happy to read all what you got to say. Then I see you next time. Ciao, ciao. Auf Wiedersehen. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Henrik. Welcome to a new episode of GermanPop101.com. Today, I have a very cool lesson for you. Very interesting, very important. I'll teach you top 10 phrases you'll need to go on a date. So, if you've ever thought on maybe going out on a date with a German, this might be very interesting stuff for you. Let's go. Möchtest du mit mir Abendessen gehen? Would you like to go out to dinner with me? Möchtest du mit mir Abendessen gehen? Would you like to go out to dinner with me? So yeah, classic um, question for a first date. If you're not sure what you want to do with a person, really just spend time with her, getting to talk to know more about each other, that's the classic, going out for dinner. So you can ask, hey, would you like to go get dinner with me? Möchtest du mit mir Abendessen gehen? The most classic question probably for a first date, huh? Hast du dieses Wochenende Zeit? Are you free this weekend? Hast du dieses Wochenende Zeit? Are you free this weekend? So after you finished your first date probably and it's been nice, you can go step forward and ask, hey, let's meet this weekend, um, I don't know, do some fun activity out in the woods or go shopping, whatever, but first you need to know, is this person free on the weekend? So you should ask, hey, are you free this weekend? Hast du dieses Wochenende Zeit? Möchtest du mit mir Zeit verbringen? Would you like to hang out with me? Möchtest du mit mir Zeit verbringen? Would you like to hang out with me? Uh, yeah, this is just really general, also probably if you don't know the person as well, uh, as much. <laughs> um, and you just want to figure out, hey, is this person interested in hanging out with me? You could ask, you want to spend time with me? Möchtest du mit mir Zeit verbringen? Or if you want to make it sound a little bit more slangy, you should ask, Möchtest du mit mir abhängen? Like, really, literally, you want to hang out with me? Abhängen is hang out. So, yeah. Either way, the more classy is like, möchtest du mit mir Zeit verbringen? Or just like a little bit more cool, hey, möchtest du mit mir abhängen? Also probably depends on the age. If you're rather in your 30s, 40s upwards, you would probably ask for some time, for the Zeit. Whereas when you're a teenager, just play cool, say, möchtest du mit mir abhängen? Du bist so süß. You are so cute. Du bist so süß. You're so cute. 
it's a nice compliment for if like you're dating having a date with a cute person and I don't know you're really having fun then you can just like let this slip oh my gosh you're so cute like oh this is so süß um, it's nice it works both for boy to girl girl to boy both can be cute Du siehst gut aus. You look great. Du siehst gut aus. You look great. Yeah, this is what you say when you meet the person to go on the date and probably most person will dress up a little bit, like put some put some makeup on, put the high heels on, like in the Sia song, right? Um, and then yeah, to appreciate all the effort the person does to look pretty, just give him a compliment. Hey, wow, you look great. This is good aus. They will appreciate. Das war ein toller Abend. That was a great evening. Das war ein toller Abend. That was a great night. Apparently, you don't say this in the beginning of the evening, you said it in the end of the evening. And if you enjoyed your time, just let the person know. Um, I, I always like to hear that people enjoyed the time with me when, when I'm on a date or when, when I just spend time with friends and then in the end I say hey well that was a cool night and everybody knows hey cool we had a good time so why not just saying it Ich werde dich nach Hause fahren I will drive you home Ich werde dich nach Hause fahren I will drive you home Yeah if you're a gentleman you should do this or a gentle lady if, if you're the driver for the night um just offer, yeah, bring you home. Germany is a safe country, so we have nice public transport. But of course, if you're on a date, you wanna, you wanna show, hey, oh, I, I'm a gentleman or I'm a nice lady. I drive you home. I drive you home to make it easier for you. Wann sollen wir uns morgen treffen? What time shall we meet tomorrow? Wann sollen wir uns morgen treffen? What time shall we meet tomorrow? Yeah, apparently you've already set up a date, but. You don't know what time you're gonna meet or where you wanna go, whatever, then just to clarify, you ask the question, hey, what what time do we meet tomorrow? Um, I'm probably going to ask this very often because I'm not so good in remembering dates, times, all this kind of stuff disappears from my memory, so I will use, I, I'll use the sentence a lot. Wann treffen wir uns? Zu welcher Zeit? What time shall we meet? Können wir uns wiedersehen? Can I see you again? Können wir uns wiedersehen? Can I see you again? Also, yeah, if you if you like the date, if you like the person, you want to see her again, just be polite. Hey, können wir uns wiedersehen? You can ask it in a cute way and then the person probably can't even say no to you. Was hältst du von diesem Ort? What do you think of this place? Was hältst du von diesem Ort? What do you think of this place? Yeah, if you found a, if you found a nice spot, then suggest hey let's stay here for example in my city we have it's like a little bit in a mountainish area yeah i know swiss and austrian people would disagree because it's like not huge mountains it's more like hills but anyways if you if you go a little bit up a hill then there's a nice spot where you can oversee the, the entire city and um that's where many people take their dates so you could you could make it seem just like casually fun oh hey what do you think about this place not like plan a long time. Even though probably the person will appreciate if you have put a little bit of thought in where you go. Um, so but yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to ask the debate uh, if she likes the place you took her or him, like whatever you prefer. That's it already the end. I mean, you notice the sentences we use in Germany are basically the same that I used in, in America or at least in English speaking countries. Um, just translated, we don't have really a lot of different habits of how we ask to go out on a date. So this should be easy for you. Just find a German girl, a girl, boy, German boy or German girl. Find one, use those phrases and I bet you will have some success to, to go on a date. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Leave some comments. If, if you let me know about your experiences uh, on dates with Germans, maybe if you used some of the sentences, visit uh, germanpot101.com to learn even more German, to impress your dates with your German, and then I see you in the next lesson. Ciao, ciao. Hi, it's Lisa. Welcome to the top 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. Let's begin.
Außer Deutsch kann ich auch ein paar andere Sprachen sprechen. Apart from knowing German, I can speak a few other languages as well. Außer Deutsch kann ich auch ein paar andere Sprachen sprechen. Apart from knowing German, I can speak a few other languages as well. I'm curious to know what other languages you can speak or you're actually learning besides from German. Danke, aber ich bin eigentlich kein Muttersprachler. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker actually. Danke, aber ich bin eigentlich kein Muttersprachler. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker actually. That is an answer if somebody um, thinks you're actually German or you talk like a German native speaker. So that's a big compliment, I think. Deutsch macht Spaß und ist einfach zu lernen. German is fun and easy to learn. Deutsch macht Spaß und ist einfach zu lernen. German is fun and easy to learn. Of course, that's something I would love to hear. If something is fun, it gets easy. So if you're enjoying German, I think you're being in a good mood and then it gets easy because you're actually wanting to learn. Ich habe alles genau verstanden, was du gesagt hast. I completely understood everything you said. Ich habe alles genau verstanden, was du gesagt hast. I completely understood everything you said. I think that's something really nice if, if somebody is still learning German and um, you talk to them like uh, you're talking to a native speaker and they tell you, wow, I really understood everything. That's something that's a big compliment. But it's also a big compliment for you because it means that you understood everything. Ich habe nur ein Jahr gebraucht, um fließend zu werden. It took me only one year to become fluent. Ich habe nur ein Jahr gebraucht, um fließend zu werden. It took me only one year to become fluent. If you've become fluent in a year, that's amazing. Ich kann deutsche Filme ohne Untertitel gucken. I can watch German movies without subtitles. Ich kann deutsche Filme ohne Untertitel gucken. I can watch German movies without subtitles. I always suggest to watch movies without subtitles because um, even if you don't understand, it's very visual and you can use your imagination. Ich kann rund 50 neue deutsche Wörter pro Tag auswendig lernen. I can memorize around 50 new German words a day. Ich kann rund 50 neue deutsche Wörter pro Tag auswendig lernen. I can memorize around 50 new German words a day. That is amazing. I mean, 50 new German words. Every day learning new German words is going to help you to be, become fluent. Ich lerne ganz alleine Deutsch. I'm learning German all by myself. Ich lerne ganz alleine Deutsch. I'm learning German all by myself. I mean, I think I would be a little sad if you said that to me because I hope you learn with me. But of course, it's a very great thing if you can learn on your own a language and study. Ich lerne seit zehn Jahren Deutsch. I've been learning German for 10 years. Ich lerne seit zehn Jahren Deutsch. I've been learning German for 10 years. Many people give up maybe, but uh, in 10 years you can, you can learn so much um, German. Let me know how long have you been learning German. In drei Jahren werde ich Deutsch wie ein Muttersprachler sprechen. I'll speak German like a native speaker in three years. In drei Jahren werde ich Deutsch wie ein Muttersprachler sprechen. I'll speak German like a native speaker in three years. I always think it's good to set goals and um, because I really think if you work hard for them, you'll make it. So um, what is your goal in learning German? Have you set any goals? Leave me in the comments. Thank you for watching the 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. I hope to see you soon and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Want to speak real German from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at GermanPod101.com. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Henrik. Welcome to a new episode of GermanPod101.com. 
I've got some cool stuff for you today. We're gonna learn top 10 phrases your parents always say. Once you're a parent, you know, that's useful stuff. Let's go. Sei vorsichtig. Be careful. Sei vorsichtig. Sei vorsichtig. Be careful. I myself heard this a lot as a kid. I guess all the parents say this all the time because they want the children to be safe. Uh, but it's just natural for children. They want to play in the dirt. They want to play with stick. Do some stuff that's maybe a little bit dangerous. So you're always going to hear, Sei vorsichtig. Be careful. So I'm the one telling, Be careful. But yeah, I was once the one always listening to it. Be careful. Sei still. Be quiet. Sei still. Sei still. Be quiet. That's a bit more like an annoyed one if you're really sick of your kid. Like, wah, 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 wah. Nah, 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 nah. And then you say, ah, be quiet. Sei still. Um, yeah, it's not very nice to say that's for sure, but I think uh, many parents know the situation and the kid always wants all the attention and maybe you're focused on something, so you just wanted to shut up. <laughs> so you say, be quiet. Sei still. Try not to say it, it's not so nice, but at some point you just cannot stand it anymore, so you say like, oh, be quiet, sei still. Benimm dich. Behave. Benimm dich. Benimm dich. Behave. Actually, not only kids hear this from their parents, <laughs> I, I could say it like my girlfriend tells this to me, like, oh, come on, Henrik, behave. Um, yeah, so for little kids and for big kids. Mach deine Hausaufgaben. Do your homework. Mach deine Hausaufgaben. Mach deine Hausaufgaben. Do your homework. Actually, that's not only parents saying, also your teachers. I'm your teacher, so please, do your homework. Oh wait, I'm not giving you homework, right? I should work in that. I come up with some next time, okay? Geh ins Bett. Go to bed. Geh ins Bett. Geh ins Bett. Go to bed. Well, as I'm a young parent myself, I know that's a very hard one, because my little boy never wants to go to bed. I can understand, I like to stay up late. So probably do you, I don't know. But yeah, important to know, but I think even knowing the sentence, it doesn't really help a lot. Because just by saying, go to bed, I rarely see um, an effect on this. <laughs> yeah, you have to come up with something better than just saying, go to bed, to make a kid go to bed, really. That's my experience. Ich werde bis drei zählen. I'm going to count to three. Ich werde bis drei zählen. Ich werde bis drei zählen. I'm going to count to three. Not sure if that really works with most of the kids. One, two, three. Eins, zwei, drei. Next one. Aufhören. Stop. Aufhören. Aufhören. Stop. If you think now that also our traffic signs, the stop signs would say aufhören, no, they're also stop. But uh, it could be more like stop it. Hör auf. Aufhören. You could play both. You could say aufhören or hör auf. I think the hör auf is a bit more like, sounds strict and direct. So like, really stop it. Don't stop watching. Nicht aufhören. Schalte den Fernseher jetzt aus. Turn the TV off now. Schalte den Fernseher jetzt aus. Schalte den Fernseher jetzt aus. Turn off the TV now. Um, yeah, so... I personally was never really allowed to watch that much TV, um, so I know this one. Uh, but I think it's good. Children shouldn't always just watch TV. They should rather watch YouTube, German Pot, or something like that. So turn off the TV, turn on German Pot 101. There you go. Was habe ich gerade gesagt? What did I just say? Was habe ich gerade gesagt? Was habe ich gerade gesagt? What did I just say? Classic. Oh, what did I just say? Again, probably parents are being pretty serious when they say, what did I just say? say we didn't want to do, you, to do the stuff that you're supposed to do. What did I just say? Next one. Hast du deine Zähne geputzt? Did you brush your teeth? Hast du deine Zähne geputzt? Hast du deine Zähne geputzt? Did you brush your teeth? Um, yeah, always brush your teeth, otherwise uh, the bad bacteria come and you get bad teeth, teeth pain, tooth pain, all the stuff you don't want to. So yeah, um, 
could be your parents saying, could be the dentist. Uh, either way, very important, always brushing your teeth in the morning, in the afternoon. Did you brush your teeth? Um, anyways, let me stop here with all the strict parent sentences. Um, I hope you liked the lesson. Subscribe to the channel or leave a comment. What could I improve? What did you like? What didn't you like? Probably the be quiet wasn't your favorite because um, yeah, you can speak up now again and do your homework. Um, okay, see you next time.